up in any way. That was the old JT. That was the old JT. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I had my friend. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? JT here, and I'm here with Jenna. Hi. You guys remember Jenna. Uh, she is one of my very good friends. Uh, we were roommates, and now I live in New York City, so she's not my roommate anymore. So today, um, Jenna and I are going to talk about something that's near and dear to both of our hearts. And that's part of it. Yeah. Love liquor. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag vodka on fleet. Um, now, y'all know that I was a bartender Fridays, and I, you know, I haven't started bartending at Ruby Tuesdays yet, and not sure if I want to, because I'm not down for the corporate. Why are you yawning? I'm sorry. It's yawning. We have a 9.30 this morning. <laughs> um, give me an old dive bar in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a big city, and I'm good, so. In the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the big city. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> Just give me a dive bar in the Just give me a dive bar in the middle of the big city and I'm good. There's just certain things that there's certain etiquette that you have at a bar. And there's certain things that you don't do to your bartender or say to your bartender. And if you wonder why your drink tastes like shit, it's probably because you did one of these things. So here are a couple of reasons why bartenders hate people. Okay, number one, <laughs> make it strong. I fucking hate when people <laughs> say that. I will make your drink strong depending on whether I like you or not. Right. Okay, so your first drink is made by the rules. <laughs> right. And the second drink is gonna depend on our conversation while you drink your first drink. Right. Okay, so if I'm busy and every time I walk over you need something else, the second drink's gonna suck. Yeah. Probably won't want a second drink. You probably shouldn't even you ask me ask for a second drink. Here's another one. Anything frozen. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you. 86 the blender. Okay. Goddamn Miami Vice. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so for y'all who don't know, frozen drinks are, are aggravating and they're a lot of them are complicated. The recipes are really complicated because you don't want it to be too watered down. I Okay, I think there's two situations where it's okay to order a frozen drink. One is if you're at a restaurant that is specializes in frozen drinks. Not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Order water. And two, if it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, there's nobody at the bar and the bartender's like desperate for a guest. Then it's okay to order frozen drinks. Still not okay. <laughs> My first guest of the day ordered it an ultimate mudslide. I was pissed. The first person sat there, I was so bad as fuck. Cause I was like, now I gotta get the ice cream. And there's chocolate syrup on the inside of the glass. Just order a mudslide martini and call today. Please keep the ice cream, ice, anything frozen out of the equation. Well, so I like least, frozen no, drinks. No, I hate them. I hate them. I didn't drink my drink today because I found out it was frozen. What's so bad it. about frozen drinks? I hate frozen drinks. I feel like it takes away from the taste of the liquor. And if I can't taste my liquor, why am I drinking? You sound like a real lush right now. I swear <laughs> to God. Just saying. What about guests that are condescending? Yeah. Like guests that are like, so I, I want a double shot of Jack Daniels and Diet Coke with two cubes of ice in a snifter glass. I've never had a guest do that yet. <laughs> and when they do, I'll probably put the shit in a tumbler <laughs> and sit it in front of them <laughs> and smile. <laughs> this is a bar. Okay. <laughs> I'm not your fucking living room serving you from your private bar, okay? <laughs> this is a store, this is a restaurant. What annoys me is we have 18,000 TVs everywhere, uh -huh. 14 remotes to go uh -huh. on them. Okay, so I had a guest. He was asking me to put on a certain channel. Which you in the frame. He was asking me to put on a certain channel. And it was, I was trying to put on this channel. So all the buttons are sticky and stick together. So when you press one button, it won't work. Or sometimes <laughs> I'll press it like three times. It's true. So I'm trying to press 20 sticks. He's telling me the number of the channel and I'm like yeah yeah I know he is like just press 206 and I'm like that's what I'm fucking trying to do 
Why else would I be standing here wasting five minutes of my time? Like, I hate when they're like that. Like, uh, just do it. Like, I'm trying. Can't you see the. No, I just wanted to check what's on fucking Disney Channel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please oh. stop. Like, or, I, what about guests that. that don't have, like, their whole order at once? So, like, you come oh, over. Yeah. Like, you come over and I get you. I'll have um, a vodka sprite. Sure. Um, and then what you make the vodka like, uh, sprite, right, yes, oh. what kind of vodka, Grey Goose, okay, alright, cool. So you make their Grey, Grey Goose and Sprite, Grey and then you come, <laughs> you make their Grey Goose and Sprite, and then they come back, and then you come back to them and they're like, oh, and can I have a Mai Tai, please? Yeah, or can I have a frozen margarita, please? <laughs> right. <I'm> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What if a guest just comes up and says, hi, I have a beer? That's the Brits. That's the Brits. I'll take a beer, please. What kind? Bud. You got Bud. Or if they ask for for um, ice for their wine, that kind of grosses me out too. Or yeah, for but... Sprite inside of their beer for a shandy. That's yeah. Crazy. No, I like that. That's good. I do that with Sprite in my um, Merlot. I mean, not in Merlot. Your wine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you British as hell. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> that's even close to Merlot on that one. I can't do it. Chardonnay. I put the stuff too far in my Chardonnay. I have to say, I love this with Chardonnay. I think that's all the reasons that Barton. Well, most of the reasons. Most that of the reasons. I'm sure there's many, many, many other reasons. Many more reasons that bartenders save people, but for the most part, that's why bartenders save people. Thank you, Jenna, so much for being on my video. Anytime. Oh my god, this has been like a reunion. Oh, we're gonna do another video. Um, yes. where we're gonna play the Whisper Challenge. So if you want to see that video, then you can click on Jenna's face. If you like these videos that I make with Jenna, then give this video a big thumbs up. And let us know that you like it. And it helps me rank in YouTube search. So go ahead and do that. And in the comments below, tell me something that you hate about your job. Make sure that you guys, make sure that you guys <laughs> subscribe to my channel. There'll be a little subscribe button somewhere on the bottom of the screen. Don't know where it is. It'll be somewhere. Also make sure that you guys follow me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Grinder, Bro, Jack. Did she just put my business out there like that? Follow Jenna on Instagram uh, at jrockdo, right? Yeah, follow Instagram. We did the Pringles Challenge. Yeah. If you want to see that video, you can <clears throat> click right here. And if you want to see us do the Yo Play Yogurt Challenge, then you can click right here. And if you're watching this on mobile, then these annotations aren't working. All of the links to these videos will be down in the description box below. To see some more of my Orlando vlogs, make sure that you keep calm and click on the pink box. Yeah. Remember, a thumbs up means you like me, and subscribe means you love me. And I love you too. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>